हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू टॉपिक नोन एज लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म इन दिस लेक्चर फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म वी रिक्वायर द नॉलेज ऑफ इम प्रॉपर इंटीग्रल्स विच वी हैव स्टडीड इन सेमेस्टर वन कोर्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स वन सो इफ यू आर नॉट फेमिलियर विथ इम प्रॉपर इंटीग्रल्स you must watch lectures on improper integral first to understand this definition now to define laplace transform uh, we require a function of some variable say t which is defined for all non negative values of t suppose f of t is a function of t which is defined for all t greater than or equal to 0 now we multiply this function of t with exponential function e to the power minus s into t where this s is another variable it is a real number any real number so s is another variable or real variable so here we have two variables f is a function of t and uh, we consider e raised to minus s into t where s is another real variable and we integrate this product of e raised to minus st and f of t with respect to t from t equal to 0 to t equal to infinity that is we con construct an improper integral of this function e raised to minus st into f of t this is improper integral of first kind and if this improper integral is convergent then it is called a laplace transform of f of t now here we have two variables t and s and we are integrating with respect to variable t so after integrating we will replace t by its limits so whatever answer we will have that will be a function of s here we are going to obtain function of s as an as a value of this improper integral because s is also a variable here in this uh, e raised to minus s into t so if we integrate this product with respect to t answer will be function of s and this function of s is called laplace transform of function of t laplace transform of f of t so laplace transform is transforming a function of t into another function which is a function of s that is the reason why we use the word transform for this uh, uh, improper integral so what laplace transform does is suppose we have a function of t and if we consider laplace transform of this function then we will obtain a function of s so laplace transform is transforming a function of t into function of s and transformation is done using this improper integral laplace transform of f of t is also denoted by capital l of f of t so we will remember this definition laplace transform of f of t equal to improper integral of the function e raised to minus st times f of t from t equal to 0 to infinity and s is any real number and if this improper integral is convergent we can say that laplace transform of function t function f of t exists if this improper integral is not convergent laplace transform of f of t does not exist so we will uh, remember this uh, definition of laplace transform suppose that f of t is a function defined for all t greater than or equal to 0 the laplace transform of f of t is denoted by capital l of f of t and is defined as l of f of t equal to improper integral with respect to t of the function e raised to minus st times f of t 
from t equal to 0 to infinity if the integral is convergent. So using this definition we can find out Laplace transform of some standard functions. For example, uh, we can start with the Laplace transform of uh, this uh, function. Suppose we are interested in the Laplace transform of exponential function e raised to a t. Then uh, we will use this definition. Definition is Laplace transform of f of t equal to improper integral from 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t times f of t dt. So by definition this is going to be integral from 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t and f of t is e raised to a t. So here we write e raised to a t. In this definition uh, we take f of t equal to e raised to a t. So this is by definition of we can shortly write capital L dot capital T by Laplace transform. Now we have to evaluate or we have to check whether this improper integral is convergent or not. So for that uh, we can rewrite this as minus s into t plus a t dt. Again we can uh, use the definition of improper integral. So this is improper integral of first type and upper limit is infinite. So here instead of infinity we consider say uh, another variable suppose b because a is already used here and b tending to infinity and this I can rewrite as minus s minus a times t dt. So I am taking minus t common so I will have s minus a in the bracket. Now we know that integral of e raised to t is e raised to t instead of e raised to t we have e raised to minus s minus a times t so we divide by coefficient of t which is minus of s minus a and here limits of t are from 0 to b so this is going to be limit b tending to infinity and uh, here uh, we can rewrite this uh, denominator as uh, or we can keep it as it is. First we take upper limit t equal to b. So here I will write e raised to minus s minus a into b divided by minus of s minus a minus lower limit so negative negative positive and we will have lower limit is t equal to 0 so here we have e raised to 0 that is 1 and divided by s minus a this negative sign will cancel out with that minus of lower limit upper limit minus lower limit now this uh, uh, now we take limit of these two functions as b tending to infinity so here this we can rewrite as this s minus a is independent of b and uh, here we write in this way limit of e raised to minus s minus a times b as b tending to infinity. Now this quantity is independent of b that is it is constant if we consider uh, variable of limit as b. So limit of constant function is constant. So this is 1 over s minus a. Now here in the denominator we are having this uh, s minus a. So that is valid if we consider s is not equal to a. So that is also required here. Now this is going to be, now we have two possibilities here. Okay, now we have to think about this limit. So we have this type of situation e raised to minus s minus a 
and if we take b tending to infinity we have this infinity so now suppose this s minus a is positive then we have positive number into infinity that is going to be e raised to minus infinity if s minus a is positive then this positive constant times infinity that is infinity and here we have negative sign but suppose this s minus a is negative then negative into this minus 1 that is going to be positive so we have e raised to infinity if s minus a is negative i repeat again we are interested in the limit of this as b tending to infinity suppose we take b equal to infinity here so here infinity is multiplied with s minus a and there is negative sign here so if s minus a is positive then this s minus a positive quantity into infinity that is going to be infinity so we will have e raised to minus infinity if s minus a is positive now suppose s minus a is negative then here we will have negative number and into this negative number that is positive so we will have e raised to infinity so if s minus a is positive we have e raised to minus infinity and we know that e raised to minus infinity is 0 and if s minus a is negative we will have e raised to infinity that is infinity so this limit exists if s minus a is positive and it does not exist if s minus a is negative if s minus a is negative this limit is infinity so improper integral is not convergent if s minus a is negative and it is convergent if s minus a is positive so that we have to mention here this is going to be so here we can write in this way that uh, uh, this is going to be minus or we can directly write 0 and we can write in the bracket this is going to be 0 plus 1 divided by s minus a it is going to be 0 if s minus a is positive and if s minus a is negative Laplace transform does not exist so we can mention in the bracket this reason because limit of b tending to infinity e raised to minus of s minus a into b this is equal to 0 if s minus a is positive and infinity if s minus a is negative. And finally, we obtain that our Laplace transform is 1 over s minus a. If s minus a is positive, that we can rewrite as if s is greater than a. So, this improper integral is convergent if s is greater than a. And uh, therefore, Laplace transform of the function e raised to a t is equal to 1 divided by s minus a and here we have this restriction if s is greater than a then this laplace transform exists so you can see here here we have function of t and laplace transform is applying to this function and we obtain a function of s this is another notation for the laplace transform of f of t capital f of s so in this way we can use Laplace transform to convert a function of t into a function of s or we can find out Laplace transform of a given function using this improper integral. So this is the definition of improper uh, Laplace transform using improper integral here s is any real number or it is a real variable so uh, we stop here in this lecture we have discussed 
how Laplace transform is defined and we have shown that Laplace transform of the function e raised to at is 1 over s minus a s is positive in upcoming lectures we will be discussing more things related to Laplace transform so this is all about this session I hope you like it thank you very much